All right, so today we have uh, Mr. Huff, Mr. Paul Huff. He is the owner of A Plus Lawn Care Service, correct? Mr. Huff? Yes, sir. Okay, is there any, any, any information that, that you would like to put out there for, for the listeners to find you in case they want to have uh, some lawn care ser services? I'd like to, to get the plugs out the way prior to even get, getting started so that, so that people know who we're talking to and what services you have to offer in your field of expertise. Uh, yes, I'm with Paul Huff of 8 Plus Lawn Service LLC. If you ever need to reach me, just... Uh, go online and look up A Plus Lawn Service in Kaloon, Texas, and you'll be sure to find me. Or you can look at Better, Better Business Bureau. I'm located there as well. I've been a Better Business Bureau member for the last uh, four years as a accredited business. See that? See that? That right there is, is is good to have some good solid establishment. So that way, if anybody does have any questions or about the legitimacy of your business, that you you already have those things squared away in places where these things can can be checked. So I I like that. So as you guys can see, he has a very credible so it's a credible background. You can go and check him up. Got all this got all this credentials. So the point uh, that I wanted to make you to to make this little video podcast, as you not know, I host a podcast called the Distorted Cosmos Podcast, where we talk about anything from the spiritual context of things to new business ideas. It's kind of uh, it's my it's my cosmos. I'm distorted. I'm the host because the reason I got the name is because, as you know, in the military, I had a very um, problem with my speech, you know, so kind of get a, you know, a little spotty, a little, little distorted, as some would say. But as you told people, you know, that that that, that stutter, it may, you know, it may have, folks may have thought I was stupid. So I'm fucking far from that, sir. So, but the point of this video, I, uh, I bring it back. Uh, the point of this video is I wanted to see, um, what if somebody was a young man out there who wanted to get a, a business idea started? And since you're the lawn care service, I've seen uh, plenty of, uh, I've, I've told people that, you know, I know plenty of people with a yard. Hell, I got a yard. So um, what what are your thoughts of people getting started in, in the lawn business? And what's the bare minimum that they could use to actually get started? Well, when I got started, my bare minimum is I started off with a, a Honda Accord, uh, just a trailer okay. from Lowe's and, and a push lawnmower and a blower and a weed eater. I used it as a stress reliever because my, my PTSD was good to me and I had to have something to help me out and it did it. But gradually as I went along, I upgraded to the equipment I needed to accomplish all of my tasks with all of my customers. But, but the bottom line, even if you start off with the minimum amount of equipment with this, just to push more, mm -hmm. a, a good a good blower, a good edger, and a good weed eater. There's a difference between a weed eater and an edger. Now, if you can and know, just give me a call or look it up online. A, a straight edge, edger, and a weed eater, and mm -hmm. you'll see what, what, what the difference is. Those are the basic things that you need to get started. But always remember, you hear people say this, anybody can do lawn service. No, no, they can't. Yeah. Anybody can probably go out there and cut some grass, but you'll be in for a rude awakening if you don't do an outstanding job yeah. on somebody's lawn, especially if you say you're a subject matter expert. Especially if you got a, be a beautiful home, you know that that's kind yes, of the, the the pinnacle of what folks see when when they see see your home. It, it's all I think that the, the the politically correct term I'm looking for is curb appeal. So so we so when you come up to someone's home, you know, having a nice true grim yard, nice true groomed yard has beautiful cur yes, cur curb appeal. So you know. It's definitely important, and, and as a consumer, if you don't get get me good, good curb appeal, especially if I'm paying you my my hard earned money, you know, yes sir, hey, yes sir, you know, I, I I expect my yard to to look good. So as you said, a lawnmower, uh, push push lawnmower, you said a blower, 
I said broom because you know everybody who's starting now can't can't afford a blower, but I'm gonna put it on the list blower and or broom to get that shit up with and edger, which is a difference. And, and, and that's because a lot of y'all don't know edger has a wheel on it. But the one I had as a kid had a wheel on it, so you can roll that motherfucker right through on the edge of that cement <laughs> and get a nice clean edge up on that grass. Now a lot of people who cheat do use a weed eater because you know you don't quite. Um, have the necessary funds in in the beginning, but I I, I don't I don't know if, if you could attest to you know using a weed eater as an edger. You know, to to me it kind of eat eats up your uh, cord along uh, along the lines, and then for some people they think their hands ain't steady enough to really you know <laughs> it may, may make a straight line up on the up on the end. So I definitely agree with having a weed eater for for you know that particular job, and then an edger for that particular job. These things were. Well, especially if you're starting out, I believe that these four essential items will greatly get you started heading off in the right direction. So what else tips for when they actually start mowing the grass? Uh, another thing you, you got to realize that yeah. um, you, you got to have the heart to do this. Now, I've seen some guys that are overweight when they get out there and do the laws, and I've seen some guys that are slim mm. get out there and do the laws. I, I, I always thought that Hey, you got to be physically fit to get out there and do lawns. And I've seen guys that are physically fit get out there and can't do it. They can't do it because they don't have the heart yeah, the to drive, do it. Just like with control. any business, I'll tell anybody, law service is like any other business. It just has different variables. You could have a car cleaning service, trucking business, uh any type business, first of all, even when you learn the basics about it, yeah. you got to have the heart to go through it and, and, and make it happen because, see, everybody thinks that this is in everybody's mind. It's in everybody's mind these days. Let's get the bag. Let's get the bag. Get what if you bag. don't get the bag the first year? Yeah. What if you don't get the bag the second year? What if you don't get the bag the third year? But if you kept going... Somewhere along the line, your fourth or fifth year, it just breaks out. It just happens. Do you have the heart to do it, to push through until that time comes? Do you have the right supporting cast, or, uh, the right supporting cast around you that mm. can say, hey, you can do it, honey, or yeah, Dave, you can do it. Do you have the right cast around you, or do you have the critics, detractors, and naysayers saying you can't? Man, you know, so what there's I mean? a lot that goes into law and service or any other business because your first few years you might just break even. You might just break even. Yeah. Because it's not as easy as people think it is. You gotta have the heart to get out there and do it. That's what any business. You gotta have that heart to do it. I wholeheartedly agree. I wholeheartedly agree. And like I said, you, you already know I, I'm trying not, not to, you know, uh, dive deep off in that, but man. Talk, talk, talk about saying a, a mouthful, especially because, you know, uh, having heart and compassion and drive to do anything, it really, it's a deep rooted issue, right? Yes. You know, um, if you don't have the heart to get out here and feed yourself, you know, I can only attest to, I, I mean, I can only imagine to what else you have going on. Because me personally, you know, I, I'm I'm driven by the ability to feed myself and my family. I'm Let's talk about that, Mr. Mr. E. Uh, let me let me yeah. interject something real quick. Yeah. Because th this is something that you said. You said what are the basics? The basics to get, yeah. getting started in law and service. This is not just for law and service. This is just this is for any business, any business that you start off with. You said something that made me think. What's that? I said, we, I said, we were in the military together, and I said, for years, I've always known you was talented. Even though you <laughs> started this shit, I yeah. said, that didn't even affect me. I'm like, just spit it out, and let's get it started. The bottom line is, did this guy have the heart to do it? I saw that. And when I seen you on online getting physically fit, getting the right mindset, to do all of these things, yeah, I asked yeah. you a question. Me and this other guy asked you a question. We said, well, how did you do it and why did you do it? And the bottom line is you told me 
when you were in an organization that helped you and pushed you and told you what to do, all you had to do was follow their standard and you would survive. To the but when you get out there on your business, just get out there, when you get out there on your own and you started a business, you either do it or you sink. You sink or you swim. You sink or you I swim. I couldn't believe that you said that because I see how your life turned around. We like, yeah, how, it, Mr. E is on a different level now. It's the same thing with starting a business. Yeah. You start off with the basics. You got to have the heart to do it. But you got to realize in your mind, it's that serious. that if you don't get out there and put your heart into it, you will either sink or swim. Mr. E, why don't you tell the audience what you told us yesterday? Because that well, kind of sums it up in a nutshell of what you need to do to start a lawn service, a, a car cleaning service, you know, cleaning out cars, just any yeah. business. You got to have the heart to do it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give a brief s- synopsis prior to going over the answer. So, yes, sir. Um, Again, if you guys did not hear or didn't understand, he said um, he gave me a call yesterday and asked me about some changes and things that that, that I've made over my lifetime. But to answer the question, the reason how these changes came about is because you first have to start in your mind, right? You have to mentally want it. You have to mentally want change in your life. You have to mentally want, you have to mentally have that why, that drive, that reason. So, as you said, in starting your, your lawn business, it, it, you know, it's hard work. And once you get out there to start to see it and you start to endure this hard work, you have to be mentally tough and mentally strong to continue to endure these things. Because once I got out of the military, you know, again, uh, my mindset in the military was I have to, it, as long as I continue to operate with the bare minimum, I will always have a I will always have a check coming in, so I have a security blanket. But when you but once you get it, get out there on your own, there's no security blanket. There's no umbilical cord. It's just you, yes, right? It's just you and your mental yes, drive in order to get enabled to complete this task. As you said, the first year it may not jump. The second year it may not jump. The third year, shit, it may not jump, but are you motivated to, to continue to that fourth and fifth and sixth year? You got to have that drive to continue on, to push yes, through. And that's what a lot of people don't have because they get discouraged yes, in the beginning. And as you said, do you have the proper support system? Matter of fact, I just posted about this yesterday about the, the there's a there's a magic, right? There's a magic. There's a spiritualness. Uh, th- th- there's a spiritual divine feeling of power that overcomes you when you have a great support system. Man, it's nothing like when somebody has says, you know what, I hear your dream and I see that you're driven to accomplish your dream. So since you're driven to accomplish your dream, I'm going to help out and I'm going to assist you by being there to be able to to motivate you and support you throughout your dream because you've explained your vision to me and I support your vision. And once you have somebody behind you to support your vision, it's unmatched like nothing else. It, it's a, it's a, it's an actual magical experience. Like it, like you know how how folks talk about doing, doing magic and all this. That's the type of magic that that really exists. But people cease to actually believe in it because they don't know they don't necessarily have the vocabulary to put it you know within their words. So to put it in th- to to put it into basic people's understanding. I'm not gonna say basic people, but you know in in, in a general context. Um, it's like having that that Holy Spirit, you know, in 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 the back of you. Like it's 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 that feeling that that God is pushing you, compelling you forward, even when you think, oh man, you know, it's too tough, it's too hard. You just keep on driving in what you believe in and what you have faith in. Keep believing in yourself, right? Because every businessman and woman that I know have started their own business, they have been driven by their own their own goals. They're, they've been driven by their own life experiences. They have been driven by everything that they have in which they feel that they can put their skills to use, their knowledge to use to feed themselves. And that's the type of thing that I preach about on my podcast. I'm not going to say preach, but I, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm preaching, but I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to reach somebody's mind, somebody's heart. 
That's all I'm trying to do, man. And if I can give him some some ideas, like getting this lawn care started, like, look, you can go down Home Depot, Lowe's. Hey, I'm pretty sure you can ask somebody in your family, some uncle, cousin, somebody, they got a lawnmower that's laying in the back of the garage that ain't being used. Okay, grab that shit, get that shit tuned up by somebody. Ask for help. If people will see you're trying to motivate yourself and trying to get something done yourself by actually doing something, You'd be surprised how many people will actually be willing. You'd be very to help surprised. You. I've seen a guy. I've seen a guy do it on a bicycle. bicycle. He had some kind of little makeshift trailer on a ten-speed bicycle, mm -hmm. a lawnmower. He had a lawnmower, a blower, a weed eater, and, and an edger. And he, I never really spoke to him that much. I just saw him, and I'm like, okay, if he can keep that drive. He'll be fine. Yeah. Well, he was making. Uh, 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 people are helping. And, and I used to tell anybody that you can make $200 a day on a bicycle, mm. a makeshift trailer, uh, a blower, and, and and those basic things that we talked about earlier. You can make you can make $150, $200 every day. But, mm. but like I said before, you got to have the heart to do that. Once that money starts coming in, did you have the heart to, to, to save for, your money to, to, to advance? And for the numbers, the heart, the wisdom, and everything to know where you're going and have the right supporting cash because you're going to always have some detractors and naysayers always saying, You can't do this. You can't do that. Until you start making it, do you see the hands and stuff start coming out? That's what you There's a lot of things that you got to be aware of when you started anything. Okay. You can start off in law service with your bicycle, a trailer, a lawnmower, a floor, a weed eater, an edger, and you'll start making it. But there's so much other stuff. But if you add that heart, that determination and drive in it, you will make it. It's a but it's, 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 but that, that, there's, a, there's an old saying that we've always said. And it probably switched past people's minds because everybody wants to get the bag and everybody do a whole bunch of talking and not enough walking, kicking. Mm -hmm. It's easier said than done. You can talk about it all day long. That's why mm -hmm. everybody makes a New Year's resolution every year. But like you told me, e, you going to either sink or swim. And the hard truth about it, I don't know if you want me to say this, e, but I'm going to say it Go ahead, and, say and, it, man. On, on, on my part. Say it, man. Everybody just ain't got what it takes to make it. They eat the basics. Everybody's not going to make it. Man. Everybody's not going to make it. And that person that you see make it, you'll be surprised at the story that they will have to tell you. Even the Bible will tell you. I don't have the exact words to it, but you can ask God and pray all you want. But if you don't get Ooh. out there and work, Ooh. you ain't going to get nothing. But you know what, though? Don't it, get nothing. You got to go for it. I tell and people. Like you told me. I, like you told me, e, yeah. I had heard it in a long time. Either you're going to get out there and swim, you're you going to sink. sink. You gonna and sink. ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you. You ever seen a bird in the wintertime sitting up on a limb? And you looking at him like, the bird freezing to death. Then all of a sudden, you'll see that bird. Sometimes it gets so bad out there that he'll fall off that limb and die right there on the ground. But there's one thing that when you see him out there trying to make it, you never hear a little bird, a little bird, an animal out there complaining. This you just true. see him out there trying to get it because they know if they don't, it's they will die. But, but mankind has made humanity so great that's how a whole bunch of people get over. But, but like you said, E, yeah. if you don't swim, you gonna say you gonna say you will perish. So, so look, everybody we, ain't gonna make it. Everybody ain't gonna make it. Pop, 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 man, man. I, I know you got plenty of wisdom to to, to embark on them, but we, but I went over my time limit twice with you, man. I'm trying to get you back out yes, there. Sir. Just trying to yes, get you sir. back out there to, to the people. But, yes, sir. but, but before you leave, I want y'all to hear. My man said you can make anywhere from upwards to 150 dollars a day, five days a week, 150 dollars. That's 750 dollars. Okay, we times that by four yes, weeks sir. in a month. Okay, you're looking at three thousand dollars potentially. 
starting out with these four items. So that means you, you know, you possibly, I'm pretty sure you're not going to spend $3,000 on these four items because you can get these at pawn shops. You can get these from family and friends. Hell, you can start borrowing and get them back. All you got to do is get you a good customer base because let's say $150, yes, let's say if you divide that by $20 yard, that's $7 a yard. That, but that's if you cut it for $20. If you do an exceptional job, let's say $150, you can charge them by 30 That means you can do five yards at $30. This is what any business can do. This it is. Business. It is, but numbers wise, though, right? A lot, a lot of people yes, that, that don't know how, how to break down or price the numbers. So again, at thirty dollars a yard, that's five yards today. Okay, at thirty dollars is five yards today. Uh oh, hold on. Thirty times five is one hundred and fifty dollars a day. One hundred and fifty dollars a day times five yes, days a week, Monday through Friday or Wednesday through Saturday. You got to include Saturday. Saturday is a high volume day for lawn care service, especially early in the morning if you're a young kid. That's when you're out of school, right? And, and on on the, the the past school hours or when you're not in school. So that, that's what I'm looking at. But, uh, you know, for a young man who's out of school, who's young, trying to get something started on your own, this is a great opportunity to make three grand a month, starting out with five yards a day at $30 a pop. But you have to provide quality service. Now, you can charge more than $30 if you provide yes, additional services. You know, if you pick it up, if you start to cut the edges of the bushes or some, you know, do little shapes, then that way you can provide value in yourself and that way you can go up on your price. But in the beginning, if you gave you the solution, we gave you the method, we gave you all your tools, you can have a return on investment within one month if you do things correctly. So again, this is Mr. Paul Huff, Mr. Paul Huff of A, A plus lawn care services. Uh, Mr. Huff, what what what's a good phone number or a good means of contact? Uh, 254 462 If I don't pick up, just leave me a message or a text. And I will get back with you. Again, you, again it's 254 462 8634 8, I will leave all this information linked down to you at the description below. Uh, again, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification for more podcast information like this. More things like this. I'm going to start doing more hosting. Mr. Paul Huff, I thank you. For anybody who don't know, we did work together in the military. He was uh, my boss for a little while. Now me and him are both out. We're civilians and we are moving accordingly in, in, in our walk and in our path. This man is doing great things. I've looked at him for advice for a long time. And I'm going to continue to, to, to look for him advice. Look towards your wisdom. Look towards your elders for your wisdom. They actually do know the fuck they're talking about, surprisingly or not. On that note, I'm going to end the video right here.